Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stylosa and this is Diva. Now, I've been playing quite a bit as Diva and I want to give some, um, some advice and some tips on uh, kind of the best way to play her because I've noticed people don't seem to be using her correctly. She is this... I mean, and you'll even see in this video, I don't entirely use her correctly all the time. There is a, an urge with D.Va to engage people at long range because you think... Like, watch this now. See, I'm attacking them there. That's not really that efficient. I did use my E, though, which is the projectile intercept, and it just intercepts everything. But look at that. That's not too good, okay? So even I'm prone to doing this. Now, D.Va is this close-range monster when she's in the mech. When she's in this form, a human form, her plasma pistol is one of the best weapons in the game. It is insane. Like, never discount D.Va, right? When she's out of a mech, she is dangerous. She's really dangerous. She might be fragile, but she can still pump out the damage. So, the mech is this thing which has got a insane five-second cooldown boost movement ability, which you'll see me use it throughout the video. It, it is ridiculous. I mean, that's it. You can move rapidly around the map. Now, one of D.Va's problems is she doesn't have health regeneration, but she does have ridiculous movement. So what you need to do is move around the map to pick up health after you've been involved in an engagement. You can beat anybody in close range combat most of the time, okay? You're very powerful. If you get point blank on someone, you will kill them. When you just see me kill Reinhardt there, I actually boosted into him. Now, this is something, again, I don't see people doing that often with D.Va. You can ram people with the mech. When you boost, you hit them and knock them out of the way. You do a very small amount of damage. I'm not sure what the damage figures are. It's probably something like 20, 30, 40 damage, something like that. It's not a lot, but you can use it to push people out of the way. That is my ultimate I just used, right? I don't get any kills with my ultimate or any eliminations when I use it throughout this game. But the positions I use it in, it, it, it's area of denial. This is not something which you're going to be using to get massive kills. Okay, you might every now and again. But the fact that I detonated the mech there prevented them coming through the side and challenging the payload. So we got the checkpoint. You have to run away from the mech. It will explode. It's invulnerable when it's in detonation mode. And you, you also can't push it or move it out of the way. And it blocks um, it, it blocks you. It's like Maze Icefall. It physically blocks pet players from moving. So if you can see what I'm doing here, let me just kind of go over what is going on. So I'm jumping in and out of the combat. That, though, is not a good idea what I just did. I tried to shoot that guy at long range. I need to cut that out of my play. This is what I should have done. He's dived in a bit earlier and take them on in close combat. Because when the mech gets killed, you're still alive. Okay, admittedly, I'm very close to dying there, and that was kind of suicidal. I think it was a little bit unlucky because uh, Bastion had his tank mode out, so obviously there's a lot of damage. If he didn't have the tank mode out, probably would be more successful. But I still think going forward like that, almost being suicidal, is what you need to do with D.Va. Close range, you smash everyone. There are like some, okay, there's some exceptions. So when people have got ultimates up, they might be able to count you. When um, uh, May, she can probably freeze you and then that would be bad for you and, and all of that stuff. But you should be able to take them out before that happens, especially if it's 1v1. Now, I'm spending quite a lot of time in this game, not actually in the mech, but I'm still effective, like really effective. She is, it, uh, the plasma pistol is insanely effective to the point of it might be too effective because she's quite effective in the mech. So Hanzo, this isn't a, an ideal example of what you should be doing. Hanzo was there sniping away. We need to get rid of Hanzo. So I jumped into him and blew him away. Now I've detonated my mech. I'm pretty sure that caused Bastion to move. Because Bastion was sitting there and camping that area. Now, I could have probably got closer to Bastion and maybe had a chance of taking him out. But it doesn't matter. Also, I got hit with Trace's ultimate there and it still didn't kill the mech. Uh, and this is quite a good little duel. Again, this shows you the power of D.Va. Like, that is Tracer. She... She's des she doesn't have a mech. She's running around trying to kill me. Okay, I got healed there by Lucio. But Tracer comes back right now. Watch this. Tracer comes back behind me, I think. Come on, Tracer. Come on, Tracer. Come on, Tracer. Tracer. Yeah, here we go. Tracer. Tracer's got the jump on me. I'm turning around. I've got a melee attack on her. I'm hitting her. I've killed her. Now, okay, maybe if she had slightly better aim, she would have taken me out. Who knows? But that just shows you how powerful D.Va is. She you can fight Tracer when you're not even in your mech. It it's ridiculous. So I do think that maybe they might need to reel back the damage of the pistol, but I'm not sure. You know, it's still early days. She's still... I, she is what she is. She's this battering ram in a pink mech. She's not like Reinhardt. She doesn't get on the objective and stand there. She can use E, which again, I don't use that often in this game. Well, I use it every now and again, but that is effective for shutting down a lot of other ultimates. And it's such a, a relatively short cooldown. You can keep using it over and over again. I think, like, some of the tips that I've got for you guys and for myself, really, after watching this is... Use the boost when you can, but try and use the boost offensively as much as you use it defensively. Because you can jump in, 
exchange blows for a good... Well, you've got a five-second cooldown on your boost, okay? So you can boost in, start getting stuck into combat, then use your E to protect yourself, and then use the boost to get out. And then you need to get out and get back to, like, a health pack or something like that. And then you can go back in and do it again. And you are this... You're crowd control. I think you are, you are literally this big pink robot that people do not want near them because they know it will kill them. And you can force people away from objectives. Sitting on the objective, which I see a lot of divas doing, like if I was to sit on the payload, I would just get killed because I'm a massive pink mech and everybody will shoot me. Okay, I might have the most health in the game um, with armor and shields combined and when you combine divas health. But you're still going to get ripped to shreds pretty quick. It's not the same as um, Winston or Reinhardt standing there with a the shield. They can absorb a lot more damage. So look at me, I'm, I'm his diva using the plasma pistol to just shoot, shoot, keep shooting, putting damage out. Because it's so... It, it's almost like the plasma gun from uh, Doom or Quake or whatever, or like Unreal Tournament. It's, it's ridiculous. So yeah, I've got my mech. Now I'm going to force them forward. I've got my ultimate up. I know Bastion's down there, so what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to chuck my ultimate onto him. But it's probably not going to kill him, because it's kind of like Hanzo's, you know? People know Hanzo's ultimate's coming, so they're like, oh, fuck that. I'll run out of the way. But they have to move out the way of the mech. And it pushes them off the point. It brings them towards us and we can kill them. That is the main benefit of this ultimate. It is not a bomb for killing the whole team. It is something for forcing the enemy team away from where you don't want them to be. Or forcing them towards you so you can kill them. It's ridiculous. I think she's like... When, when the, the last three heroes came out. So Genji, uh, Mei and D.Va. I had D.Va down as this very situational... Uh, hero where she's like she's got use but not all of the time but that was not correct diva diva is very useful very powerful because diva has an escape mechanism from almost anyone like really you shouldn't be getting killed as diva if you can help it because you can take so much damage you can then just back off and heal yourself up and then come back again and then come back again you're this nuisance like i'm always near the point i don't die in this game i'm always near the point see me taking part there in long range damage it's not it's not optimal but you may as well put damage out when you can, I guess. And that was probably what was I was thinking in my head. I didn't want to dive in because I knew Bastion was down there. But now we can move forward. And I, she is a really good hero. And she's really good when she's out of the mech as well. Which I want people to also realise. Don't think, I've killed the mech, so it's fine. No, you've got to kill D.Va because she will do loads of damage to you. And you need to kill her. She is ridiculous. I mean, look at this. I'm in the fight there. My mech's been destroyed. And I jump out the mech, jump away, and, it, and I'm still going. And I would have killed Bastion if the game didn't end. <laughs> so guys, I hope this has helped you if you were a little bit lost as to what D.Va actually is and what she's used for. She is a bright pink battering ram who is excellent at area denial. And point blank damage is insane. People like, uh, there wasn't none on the enemy team uh, there, but if there were like uh, Widowmakers, I mean there were Hanzos, which I did kill a few times, but Widowmakers are a more extreme example. She would be in sniper positions. You can just fly up through and kill her. She cannot do anything to you. Point blank, you are a beast. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Stylo Set. This has been Overwatch, and this has been some tips on how to play D.Va. And, uh, yeah. I, come on, Blizzard, open up the beta a bit more so we can get more people in. Good God. You can follow me on Twitter, guys, uh, if you like the content, which is at Unit Lost Gaming. And if you do like the video, then click like below. It really helps a lot. And uh, leave a comment. And I'll catch you next time, people. Toodaloo.